Do you want to get ripped as a vegan but not sure what to eat? Don't worry, I've got you covered with this full day of eating. It's breakfast, don't want time. Let me introduce you to the fellas. I'm not telling you what I'm having yet. <laughs> <laughs> We're having protein pancakes, woo! 100 grams of oats, one banana, 250 mils of soy boy! One scoop of protein powder. I've got the Vivo Life Perform Acai and Blueberry. The very best protein powder on the market. Link in the description, 10% off with my code. One tablespoon of ground flax seeds, three tablespoons of water, one teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of baking powder, some berries, I went for bloobs and rasps, and some maple syrup also for the topping. Now we add the rest of the pancake mix in with the flour. And now we mix until smooth. You may need to employ your plumber, so have it on hand. Let the pan heat up before you apply the mixture. Top tip. Okay, once you get your spatula under there. Oh. It's time to flip him. I'm excited to give these bad boys a little whirl. Obviously, not the best thing for your health. Ideally, everything you'd eat would have fibre. Um, if you're gonna have a little bit of a sweetener, you know, with calories, then maple is the one I'd go for. I eat it very rarely, very rarely. But I'm gonna have a little bit today. I'm gonna treat myself. Ooh. Oh, God, no! That's some delicious ass stuff. Also, just quickly, I want to tell you about Hail Snacks. Hashtag not sponsored. They just sent me a box of their, um, these are kind of uh, protein based snacks for aimed at gym goers. Again, I preach whole foods. If you want that, you know, optimal health, stick with the whole foods. However, you know, I'm very conscious people watch this channel. They're also into their fitness and perhaps, you know, they're trying to build a bit of extra muscle things. So um, I'm glad that this exists. So you get tons of. Uh, there's different boxes, they have different amounts of uh, snacks in there, but they're all really, really great, tasty snacks. I particularly like these uh, Fit Crunches, they're like a uh, protein crisp. They're oil-free, baked, not fried, so that's pretty good. They're really, really good value. If you subscribe to the subscription service, um, you can use code HAIL50 for 50% off your first order. Don't say, I never give you anything. Here you go, I've just laid them out a bit nicer so you can actually see uh, what you're getting in this particular box. Check them out if you want to. <laughs> well, hi, don't we scrub up nice? Swid swoo, I say. <laughs> and I look like this. Woo! <laughs> so we're heading into the city centre for the first time since the restaurants opened. We're hooking up with a couple of amazing friends. We're going to show them Norwich. We got voted the top uh, UK town or city uh, for veganism in the whole of the Woo! UK. So uh, we're really excited to show them around. We're going to be their tour guides and we're going to have a lot of fun. Won't you come and join us? So first on our grand tour, tour we're at Erpingham House, which is the UK's largest vegan restaurant. Uh, they've done a few modifications since the whole COVID thing, so excited to see uh, what's going on. Are you getting on mate? <laughs> yeah. It's nice to be out and about again, isn't it's it? It's really nice. It's so strange to be in a restaurant after all this time. It's yeah. lovely. And yeah. we've got it to ourselves at the minute, so that's exciting. <laughs> so the food's turned up. <laughs> what have you got, mate? Uh I've forgotten. <laughs> Moroccan salad, is it? Yeah. Moroccan. So chickpeas and uh, quinoa. They make everything look so beautiful here. They do, don't they? The presentation is just on yeah. point. Yeah, I do love Uppingham House. Yeah. So I've got the hummus garden. So we've got some pita breads, hummus roasted chickpeas, and um, pad. What was this, Paul? Noodle? 
Thai noodles. Thai noodle salad with uh, marinated tempeh. Looks bomb. It's a lovely friend's Paul and Selma. Selma, what have you got today? What did you want? I've got for? the plant bowl, and I think it's a mixture of vegetables. Um, Nice. Oh, I can't remember what it was, but yeah. It looks good though. Yeah, oh, and you got the tahini lemon dressing in it? Yeah. Oh, Brilliant. nice. And Paul's uh, very clever, he's got the same as me. <laughs> yeah. It's not the same first name, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this looks so good. It looks too pretty to like eat it, to disrupt yeah. it. Yeah. 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 Oh god damn. Oh god damn. Wow. So having cured my gluten problem with young goji man. Mm. You can have a glutinous pizza. Mm. Those are much better than the other gluten free. Yeah. <laughs> I nearly said for that. <laughs> oh god damn. Oh god damn. Let's try the uh, noodles as well. Chocks away. Amazon point. Wow. So much flavour. Mm -hmm. That's really nice. Yeah. You want to try it? Very, very good. Oh, kale chips, you little tinker. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was amazing. And now we're going to show our friends around our fair city. I mean, fine city. Norwich at a fine city, that was it. That's what <laughs> they say on the brochures. On the little um, signposts on the way into Norwich, you get, it says Norwich, and underneath a fine sea, but then uh, hooligans get black, black markers and fill the F in to make it a P, so it says Norwich Alpine City. I don't know why you wanted to know that. Oh, I'll get my cake, sorry. <laughs> oh, so Selma was just saying, it's meant to be a super Saturday. You know, everywhere's open for the first time and you know, you can come and uh, enjoy yourselves. It's no one about, is it, mate? So quiet. <laughs> Yeah, it's a Saturday, yeah. you'd think it was like a Tuesday or something. Yeah. It's Very real crazy. What's wrong with people? Are they still scared about the virus? Mm. Got used to being at home and not going out. Everyone's become a recluse. Mm. It's very odd. Hey, look. Yeah. They raise babies and yeah. uh, relationships developed. Yeah, well. Look at this little thing I spotted the other day, Viva, best vegan shop England, little shop of vegans. Vegans, come to Norwich, we're winning. <laughs> Seen anything you like, mate? Mm, it's so cool, I'm just exploring all the stuff. They've got all the things, haven't they? Yeah, they've got quite a lot. They've got all the things. Little refill station, I like that, bit of sustainability. Yeah. We're at Tipsy Vegan. Tell us, tell everyone all about Tipsy Vegan. It's kind of like a uh, American diner food, would you say? Yeah. And they have like cocktails, mocktails. It's a real popular place, isn't it? Yeah, very, very popular. Really nice. Come to Norwich, we've got it all. Yeah, we're so lucky here. Yeah. So lucky. Come on, come on in. The water's lovely. <laughs> I'm going to show you something now. So uh, during the Second World War. Norwich has got a lot of landmarks, none of them got hit by bombs. The reason was Hitler, he really loved our city hall, he loved the Nordic architecture, the columns. He planned to do his victory speech. I'm going to show you the exact spot he would have done it. That is really crazy, isn't it? Oh, and check out over there our beautiful castle.
back home now. We had such a wonderful time with our new friend. So uh, we met him online basically. They're sort of seeing what we're doing, you know, and then we've got chatting and things. And what an amazing time to be alive. We, we struck up a real good friendship, you know, before we'd even met. Like historically, that would never be a thing. What a, a funny time in history. So we really enjoyed showing them around Norwich. I'm very proud of our city. You know, the history, the people by and large are really, really nice. And the vegan thing has, you know, it's really exploded. But actually today for the first time, sort of showing them around, I kind of realized how small Norwich actually is. And I'm really trying to make a huge change in the world. And I'm kind of seeing how we're very isolated, you know. East Anglia is like Norwich, uh, UK's bum <laughs> extended into the sea. And Norwich is like a little pimple on that bum. Like, and the pimple is surrounded by farmland. Like it's all farms. You know, if you take off from Norwich Airport, it's like a patchwork quilt of, of fields. And then of course, and then you've got the sea. So the catchment area, like, you know, say like the, the capital, like London, you know, and you're all surrounding it, you know, there's other towns and things, and you've got a huge catchment area, but we're, we're coastal, so there's very little opportunity, you know, it's hard to connect, it's hard to collaborate with very many people, and I'm for the first time starting to see its limitations. We'd always said, Gem and I, once things got good, you know, once we were financially, like, really doing well, and we weren't just, like, getting by, that we were going to travel, really see the world, collaborate with a lot of people to help grow the channel well we're at that stage now like finally you know we're actually sort of in the in the black and, and we we have some spare money and things are going really really well but we've been offered this once in a lifetime opportunity it's a re it's mad like it's unbelievable i <laughs> i'm not quite sure that i believe it and um it's extremely exciting it's mildly terrifying in kind of equal measure it would be a real step up into the big leagues. Now in recent months, I've got hugely into entrepreneurial genius, Gary Vaynerchuk's work. And I've vowed, I've seen how scary intuitive he is. And I've seen like stuff come to you and I've applied it to my business and it, and it works. And I've vowed, and I've kicked myself for not listening to some of his adv advice before, like earlier, I've vowed to follow his word to the letter. And he says that his biggest fear is regret. How will I feel if I let fear stop me, pass up this once in a lifetime opportunity, and then I have to watch someone else succeed when that could have been me? I don't like the idea of that on my conscience when I'm laying in my deathbed. I'd love to tell you all about this crazy, amazing, unbelievable uh, thing, but um, I'm sworn to secrecy at the minute, so I'm sorry about that, guys, but um, I shall uh, let you know more about it as I'm able. So it's dinner time. We're going to make something from the vegan fitness bundle. I don't know if you've seen that. Our book is part of it. It's amazing value. It's $2,400 worth of stuff for uh, $49. So it's 98% off. Uh, give that a check. Link in the description. Uh, but this recipe is from Mike the Vegan's book. Over to Gemma. So this recipe is called Curry in a Hurry. Let me introduce you to the fillets. We're making three servings. So we've got one extra for tomorrow. Okay, so we've got 1.5 kilos of potatoes, one large onion, three carrots, three quarters of a cup of almonds, 560 mils of a plant milk, we've chosen soy milk, one and a half teaspoons of curry powder, one and a half teaspoons of cumin, two bay leaves, and one and a half tablespoons of ketchup. Ketchup? Ketchup, I don't know. Okay, so I've chopped the potatoes, and now we're gonna steam them until soft. Okay, so the next step is we're going to chop the carrot and the onion really small. Okay, so I'm going to give the almonds a little chop. Okay, so I'm going to add the almonds and basically just everything else to the pan. Just going to mix that up. Okay, so I'm going to bring this to the boil and then simmer until the veggies are all soft. Now what's happening, mate? Okay, so we just take out the bay leaves. I don't know where the other one is actually, so we'll just... We'll take out, it's right there. Where is it? It's right there. Oh yeah. So take just call leaves. me eagle eyes. <laughs> so we will mix in the spuds. So I wanna give that a good old mix. 
Oh, and I'm going to add some coriander as well. He said this was optional, didn't he? But we, yeah, I, I didn't realise we had it in the bloody fridge. Yeah, chuck some of that in. Yeah, that looks good. <laughs> it's going everywhere. Okay, Mike the Vegan, let's give your wares a little try. Yeah. I like it, there's some good flavours in there, the nice hearty potato. That's the winner. You know, for, for a curry that you can make like really, really, really quick, mm. I know it's kind of quite simple ingredients and you think, oh, the, the ketchup seems a bit odd, but I think a bit of sweet sort of balance the heat and stuff, doesn't it? And uh, be quiet, cowboy, we're trying to film a video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like that, that's decent. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you're inspired to uh, eat nice and healthy and get moving and uh, do some positive shiz. Uh, but for now, click this.